Founded in 1789, Hammerfest is also home to the UNESCO-listed Meridian Column, which commemorates the first precise measurement of the globe. I'm too lazy to go up to, to where there is an unobstructed view of the docking. Here we go. Welcome to Hammerfest. The polar bear is their symbol. And here's your information officer. This is a friendly one. He's not going to devour me for lunch or dinner. It actually feels balmy out here. I wanted a long sleeve t-shirt. There sure isn't much to see or do here in the winter time. I've been trying to video the Meridian Column, but I cannot pick it out. The tourist office told me that it's small. Oh well, goodbye to Hammerfest. You no longer have to worry about roughness in the Barren Sea, etc. Because from here on down, as you can see, we're buffered by the different islands. We get into Tromsø, unfortunately, at 11.30 tonight. No time to walk around Tromsø again. We're on the southbound leg. And I see lights dead ahead. Sure, sure, boy. I've given up trying to pronounce anything in Norwegian the proper way. Good morning and welcome to Trondheim. We're here for three hours and way out there is the famous cathedral, Nidaros Cathedral. Which I captured in my previous video seven years ago. Oh, there's another ship in port. Spitsbergen. Quite a few passengers disembark at Trondheim. The Spitsbergen is a Hertigruten sister ship, probably heading north. Monk Holmen is an island in the Trondheim Harbor area, approximately two kilometers from the center of town. During the Viking Age, this was a place where public executions were held. Founder of Trondheim put Kirk's and Hakan Earl's heads on poles after battling for kingdom and Christianity in the year 995. A few years later, a Benedictine monastery was built on the island, and the presence of monks lasted until the Protestant Reformation in 1537. And that's why the island got its new name, Monk's Island. After freedom from the Swedish occupation in 1659, it was reconstructed into the shape it has today as a fort. It was done to build a better military defense of Trondheim. The island was later used as a prison, but during the Second World War, it was again used as a fort, this time by the Germans. A boat service runs between May and September. 